Hey everybody and welcome back. We are seriously hitting it up with your request this week. This is Ark Knights. I've got two openings and two endings of Ark Knights. I've got, I don't have a clue about this at all. It's literally your request, so we're getting to it. <laughs> if you are new to the channel Gas Mash Cuts, hit subscribe if you enjoy the video. Obviously hit it up with a like and drop a comment if you want to shout something out. I read every single one. Now let's get into the two openings and the two endings of Ark Knights. If you love it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. But let's get into this, see what we're going to get off. Prelude to Dawn, opening alive. I was going to try and pull the name apart, be like Ark, Archangels, but Knights, Knights of the Archangels, but that's probably nothing to do with it, because I can see some of them have horns, some of them don't. What a beautiful, beautiful voice. Oh! I'm just going to pause a moment because I recognize the voice. Riona. Of course it's Riona. It says on the screen if I'd wait at a second. This looks seriously intense. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that voice, man. I love Riona's voice. What's going on? It's almost like there's a riot. Like... This is like a conflict, you know, like a, a rebellion. It had a rebellion sort of vibe in that, like that imagery. Whoa. Wow. Like, I've showed this out before. I love how they animate like a character's eyes, like the eyes are the window to the soul. You know, a serious believer in that. So how they animate that, I'll just let this play out a bit more to make sure, yeah. That gave me like this kind of rebellious, rebellious sort of vibe. Maybe uh, the people rebel against others, or maybe it is just one for against another, but the character design looked intense. It definitely has action scenes in it. And you're gonna have, because you saw them smiling together, you're gonna have that emotional depth between all these like, uh, the, the, the violence to the happiness, to the sadness, and Riona smashing it there. Absolutely smashing it. This is another opening I've got. I'm curious to tell me. Uh, it's by Myth and Royd. Oh my god. Seriously, they're bringing the serious punches to the openings on this one. So this is Perish in Frost opening theme for Ark Knights. Okay. Sorry, Myth and Royd. Look at the emotion just in the eyes alone. Like that character looked crazed, you know there? Bring it. I love that there are Myth and Royd songs out there that I have still not heard. seriously like there was a character there like he looked like he was fully plated in like metal am i going to be able to get a still of him i don't know how far back it was was it hey him like that what was that like that looked crazy like like a giant pointed part of the helmet Oh, there's definitely one group against this joined force. I'm guessing they're joined forces. It could be individual. Dragon silhouette. That was the silhouette of a dragon. That was a shadow on the floor of a dragon, I'm telling you right now. That looks so cool. Who it is. This is Let me just get rid of that because that's an advert. But that looked intense. The song was incredible. 
I couldn't help but groove. It's definitely going to have intense, it's got fight scenes, we can visually see that, and the emotion that they actually are able to, to show with nothing more than just looking at a character's eyes. I love that. You know, shout out to all the artists of anime out there, because they are so skilled. So, so skilled, man. Right, we're going to go with two endings now. This one is Be Me for Prelude to Dawn, the first opening we watched. Wow. Do you know what it is? You know when you just feel that maybe the audio is going to be blocked because of the serious incredibleness of these songs? Doesn't label the artist, but I know the, I know the voice. Maybe it'll tell me in the video. Look at that. That gentle care, that catching of everything, just holding it to their heart. It's got some serious emotional depth. Oh. I say the artist was Uru and Doi. Uh, uh. I could swan I recognized the voice. So this must be our main character because they have been the forefront of quite a few of the images. Is it? Let me know in the comments. Oh, do you know what it is? I forget for a moment that I'm just watching the ending. I was ready for it to start there. I was like in my head, I was almost watching an episode. <laughs> that's, that's how I felt right there. Um, if you've made this far in the video and you're enjoying this sort of reactions, make sure you hit the like button because it helps this video reach a massive audience. And that helps us on the road to 50k if you hit that subscribe button as well, by the way. But let's get into the second ending that I've got. Now, this is for Perish and Frost from the second opening we watched. It's the ending three, ending theme, Vera A or Ver A. Maybe, maybe there's a version B. I couldn't find it though. This is version A. Wow. <laughs> like the symbolism of bringing life back to where there is none. So these are the almost like zombie like enemy I'm guessing like they just they seem to lack emotion marching very lifelessly you know look at that man that kind of 3D spin that you see in a lot of anime. I quite enjoy that, but you can't help but like want to move out of the way. The songs in this are next level awesome. Look at that, like concrete everywhere except for the flowers that they are rising up from. Oh, don't be finishing, man. Here it is. The Hey, little advertisement for me there. <laughs> but like, Ark Knights. It definitely has grabbed my attention, 100%. The, the music alone has been magical for these opening and endings. But the imagery it does give me that maybe they are in a country that's been taken over and they are rebelling and just has a rebellious vibe or or like the savior because when you see the this army or whatever you want to call them marching along the streets they're very lifeless they're very just walking hands down there's no emotion there whatsoever the only emotion we're really seeing is from these characters who seem to be on the attack whether they are defending from an invasion or attacking against an invasion or, or whatever it may be or overthrowing whoever is in charge it looks incredible like the animation is down the emotion is there let me know what you think of it down in the comments below if you've watched it but if you haven't seen it like me when you go on to see it come back to this come back to me whether it's here discord or over on twitch when i'm alive let me know 
what you thought of it because I'm intrigued by that. I really am. If you've made it this far, hit subscribe. If you want to watch any of our reactions in full or unedited and want to support the channel a little bit more, the link for Patreon is in the description. Much love. Let's do this.